The time for joining us interactive, Aisha is here. Hello, Aisha. Hello, Israel. Um, rather on a sad note, I, I just want to find out from you, what do you think about 70% of children, um, you know, being on the Volta Lake, uh, I mean, being trafficked, I mean, as young as three years, being sold for people, you know, to be used for fishing and all of that? This is something that's been going on for a long time, and it's, it's, it's amazing that it still happens. It's still happening this morning. In this morning, day and age. You know? You know? I mean, I just, how do you think we can <laughs> get rid of this? Cause I wonder, I wonder, but probably with uh, schemes like making sure everybody else can go to school, mm. maybe, just maybe, without having to pay fees, people will be willing to have these children, their children. Just maybe. And you know school. the pathetic part of this whole story? Some parents willingly give out their children for as low yeah. as 500 cities. Yeah. My God. You know how to join this conversation? It's on facebook.com slash journeys on TV. On Twitter, it's at journeys on TV. And on WhatsApp, the number is on your screen. So 70% of children in Ghana, Ghana's fishing industry can be found on the Volta Lake. You can safely describe it as modern day slavery. And it is the reality on the Volta Lake today with children as young as three being sold out to slave masters who use them for fishing. What do you make of this development? It all boils down to education, okay? And creating awareness about child slavery. Um, probably, who knows, the parents are illiterate and they have no idea what they are doing because I, I don't think an educated person or parents would actually give their kids out at that tender age to be fishing. Uh, I think it, it doesn't work that way. Uh, government has to rise up and be serious concerning that because the children, they are the future leaders. And if we allow these fishermen to allow these children to be fishing, I think it, it will not help the country. So the government has to be on his toes to help uh, these children to come out from this situation. I don't know what the authorities are doing about that. If the people within the um, the place or the town are not doing anything about that. It's a shame. The chief, the municipal chief, executive, and even the, the ministry, they know about it. They are not acting on it. I think this is um, uh, an infringement on the right of the kids. They are, they are kids. They don't even know what's going on. So if the adults in their right state of mind are doing this, I don't think this would even save our country any good. Yeah. This is a very bad practice which um, should be um, condemned and no one should encourage it and the uh, government should uh, um, take a, a step of arresting, that is the police have to arrest those people who engage in such an uh, attitude. Um, you know, children, it is the responsibility of every parent to take good care of the children that we produce. We need to educate them. It is, it is um, even in the labor law, it is, uh, you can't engage somebody who is below 18 years to do such a, what do you call it, uh, um, such work on the sea. It's very dangerous. <laughs> it's indeed very dangerous. But let's check out what you've been saying on Facebook. Kwesi Boateng Epa says, ah, well, I was even thinking Prince Charles was coming with a slave ship again for me to join, <laughs> but he disappointed me. Hashtag drinking tea. Walanyo Kwetia says, so when will this stop? Just send your ward to school and the FQ. This one too, someone has to come in before this 21st century in the land of Ghana. No, no, no. And as God says, I'm a firm believer of resourcing public institutions to deliver on their mandate. The denial of resources to public institutions is an attack on the citizenry, and that's what we are witnessing. The Children's Act 1998, Act 560, is clear. This certainly falls under child labor, exploitative child labor, and hazardous employment. Francis Sebi says, no plenty talk, arrest the parents. James Abusanga says, the Ministry of Gender and Social Welfare should step in and help combat this issue at once. And Kofi Boatimensa says, we have a long way to go.
and on whatsapp moses from who says some parents are wicked um aleb yita and says people who practice such things should be arrested to serve as deterrent to others and this one from kwame Techiman, he says please i wonder even uh, the illiterates what about the pain people go through but do you want your child to also become like you um, I really don't get the message well. Um, this one, he says, hmm, slavery into their imposted future jobs. It's not fair. I mean, their fault at all because if there are few developments in these rural areas, what else can we expect? More education. And this one, he says, more than slavery is when we joyfully elect leaders who do not think of the citizenry but will still have the age to speak arrogantly when they are called to answer for their stewardship. Most definitely, we may be talking about this, but I tell you, they surely don't care. And uh, those are some of your comments. This one says, parents must be careful as God will ask them one day this one he says i think and it's faint from ellen Blair district he says i think the gender and children's ministry should be proactive in rehabilitating these vulnerable children uh, for our nation and a lot of um, comments coming in this one says it is true we need the following a lot of education on the effect of the practice and law enforcement okay so some um, advice there on how to take care of the situation this one he says this is not fair the fishermen should be arrested it's against human rights but wait because effective Monday your favorite sachet water will be sold at 30 pesos the sachet and packed water producers Association are citing high cost of production for the increase in prices are you ready to buy your favorite sachet water for 30 pesos <laughs> I don't know what are the indicators for them increasing the pure water anyway, but looking at what is happening in this country now, I mean, electricity is going high, cost of production and everything also go high as well. So if they are saying they are going to increase it, I think they have to bring the indicators or tell us the indicators of that increment, then we can as well be okay with it. The filter in the in the in the in in, in the state, especially second here, is through them. They have to find a way of making the the city clean making the country clean because you want to increase it why are you increasing are you increasing it to get the farm to clear the city or you are increasing it for your own profit have you seen so if you say oh i'm increasing because i want to take people to clear the the rubbish in the city different but look at when you wake up early in the morning you come to the city look at the filthy is it and it is sachet waters i mean here and there here and there so if they say they are going to increase what are they going to increase it for are they joining the Zoom Lion to clear the city? Because of that, they want to increase it so that they can add the money to the Zoom Lion people. Or they are increasing because of their own benefit. You live in a country where about 70% of your monthly income goes into food. I mean, why should we be even talking about this? Water, a basic necessity. I mean, how do you expect the ordinary Ghanaian, the hawker on the street, get a portable water i mean a sachet water it, it's sad I mean, water water 30 pesos it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense if you ask me it doesn't make sense but this is the, the kind of economy we, we are building for ourselves and we just have to go by it we don't have any choice at the end of the day it's a, a government that has the final say so Right. right, so we've actually been having a conversation <laughs> here, doing some analysis. Because we're looking at uh, a bag of sachet water. Which so um, it used to be three, three cities. cities. Apparently now it's going to three cities, 50, 50 pesos. pesos. But then you have 30 uh, of sachets, the sachets in, there. in the bag. So if it's uh, 30, three cities and there are 30 sachets, then ideally one unit will be 10 pesos. 10 pesos. So if you chill it, then you can sell it for 20 pesos. 20 pesos. So three cities times 30 will give you six cities. So you should be able to take out your electricity bill and then get your profit from that. But now it's three cities, 50 pesos. So you're now going to get two cities, 50 pesos as okay. to whether that will take care of your electricity. So let's see the there. comments that we've shared with us. Martin <laughs> says, uh, hashtag boycott pure, pure water 30 pesos. <laughs> Why should a retailer take over 50% profit on selling water to a fellow human? They buy a bag of 30 for three cities 50 pesos and sell it for 30 pesos each so they make a profit of five cities 50 
pesos see, on a bag. Five cities, 50 pesos on a bag. Isn't that blood money? <laughs> I don't think the cost for refrigeration is also a justification for that. And uh, let's move on. Uh, still 50 pesos will buy two. Still 50 pesos will buy two. What were you thinking of the change you asked for? Or you don't want producers to get profit. Nana says, this product, sachet water, is the main reason why Ghana is so filthy. The producer should come up with a solution to the filth, not increasing. And uh, a champong says, I'm going to buy water bottle. Empty and everywhere you go, I, ca I go carry them. <laughs> Na Nana Bonsu says, the change has come to stay. Prince Gasco says, thank God, Saboba district is closer to river. Uti, no more laziness. <laughs> Well, you're going to drink from the river. <laughs> All right, then PK Amopa says, sorry, uh, Chichiri, water for doing guy guy on you. Uh, please, I'm prodigal son. Just take me as your servant. Now that I'm coming to start taking you into my stomach. Thank you. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> the, this Chichiri, I don't know. I think it's... Um the source of water for the people in, in uh, the Nkwanta okay. area. Okay. So I'm sure he's talking to the Chichri. All right. So, so coffee pressure says, I pull for the way. We're going to drink Abula, Abula Mushu. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you put the, you know, you put some, is it, uh, what it do you It chill for you so you can drink. It's it. very nice. Maybe we should take that one and stop taking Jamil it. Jamil says, we just some wizards will blame it on the Kufuado. <laughs> Okay, so let's look at Latif Ibn Sani from Yendi. He says, hey, Ghana, pure water at 30 pesos. She says, it doesn't make sense. Oh, oh, why? It doesn't make sense. Eh? And this one says, uh, why Why should a sachet water cost three, three CD? No, not the sachet. It's the bag that is three cities. I will start buying bottled water, and after drinking the content from it, I will refill it with tap water. This is stealing. <laughs> and Walanya Kutia says, as for water, there's no any alternative, so let's just accept new price and move on. The pure water sellers also will gain small increment to check their how far. But uh, this pure water people, I think you made the point that they should be paying some amount of money to government so that it will be used to, you know, take care of the rubbish or the sachet. Yeah, was somebody who posted that on uh, Facebook. Okay, exactly. So, Sir Obama in Pokwasi said the sachet water producers must be arrested for causing fear and panic. Oh, <laughs> really? The sachet water sellers are very insensitive to the plight of Ghanaians. But they're also Ghanaians, and they're also feeling that pinch you're talking about. So a uh, bag contains 30 sachet, and it's sold for two cities. It's no longer two cities, I guess. I think there's some increase somewhere. And uh, this one says, uh, I thank God I'm with the Volta Lake. Okay, so you will drink from the Volta Lake. <laughs> but I, I, I hope you know the consequences. In fact, we should be ready to see more people looking dehydrated and emaciated because many will restrain themselves from drinking more water because they can't afford. Yeah. And it's from Biko from Nadol. Well, my, my, my advice to people would be just buy your bag of sachet water, keep it at home, chill it, it uh, yeah. pour it into your the water bottle, bottle, bottle and carry it with you everywhere you go. That's all. <laughs> and that's how we end the interactive segment. My name is Aisha Brian.